you know, the camp of the three leading presidential candidates have disagreed over the ANAP poll, which seeks to predict the outcomes of the presidential election. With the latest poll, BKO, does it really reflect the reality? To say that um, the that this reflects the reality on ground is difficult to say. Um, how was the sampling done? Any sampling that targets only those who have uh, Android phones will never give us something representative of voter behavior or likely voter behavior. I've said repeatedly that opinion polling is not exact science. And because of that, you are never going to get something accurate. So people have no reason to split hairs over opinion polling. After all, no, most of the big journalists, political journalists, um, the opinion polls didn't tell us that Donald Trump will become president uh, of the U.S. He became president of the U.S. And after the election, the newspaper houses, the TV stations were asking themselves, what did we do wrong? Where, where did we uh, make a mistake? When you look at this particular one, an opinion poll that gives article only 1% in the Southeast. I will struggle to believe such an opinion poll. Article is of the PDP. The PDP still remains the ruling party in most of the states of the Southeast. And to say that the candidate of the PDP will have just one percent of the votes from that region, honestly, I find it ridiculous. And to also give Peter Obi as much as eleven percent in the northwest, while giving giving Kwankwaso six percent or so in the same region where it comes from, where it commands a lot of uh, respect, a lot of sympathy. I, I find it difficult to believe. Uh, the opinion poll says OB, if elections were held today, OB will have 23% of the total votes, while Tinobu will have 13%. That's suggesting that OB could, in the final analysis, score about two times the number of votes that Tinobu will score. I tell you, that's too good to be, uh, to be true. It, it takes someone overly optimistic in OB's chances to believe that in this forthcoming election, he could dominate other opponents by such a wide margin. That's that's like taking that's like doubling, doubling whatever Tinobu comes up with. So, I I am not surprised that um, other parties have responded with so much anger to to the opinion poll. But there are some positives that we can take away from the opinion poll. And it is that 35% of Nigerians want to vote because of insecurity. 26% want to take part in this election because of the economy. 10% are interested in taking part in this election because of unemployment. 7% want to take part because of poverty, elevation and 
consider education as uh, a reason for them to take part in the election. They also, uh, the, the opinion poll also suggests that the age group, 36 to 45 years of age, are very, very interested in voting in this election and they are actually, that's the largest, um, that that will be the largest voting block or um, in terms of the demographics, that is, that will be the largest age range that will take part in the election. Well, in previous elections, we've seen 40 to 65 do very well. The elderly people always outvote young people in our country. But I know Chris has said in this election, we are likely to see so many people voting for the first time, so many young people taking part in the election. So I think to a very large extent, young people will show up or on election day, uh, just as we saw in Oshun, more young people took part in the election in Oshun than uh, the government election than in previous years. So hopefully we'll see a lot more young people uh, voting in this election. Uh, there was another survey uh, conducted in November. And that survey um, showed that Tinobu was taught behind uh, behind Obi and uh, and Atiku, and that that was conducted by uh, Nestia. Nestia is a multi competency advisory firm. According to Nest Air, Obis scored 40.87 percent, Atiku a distant seven, uh, second with 26.7, and Tinubu in third place with 20.47 percent of the vote. So, according to Nest, Nest Air, their own survey was conducted primarily in the rural areas but they left out the home states of the candidates. So as I said earlier, the own survey showed will be leading by 40.87%, Atiku a distant sec second at 26.7, and Tinubu in third place at 20.47. So that is it. But I know that a lot of our people uh, who would rather wait for the election to take place. They don't believe in uh, in this service because of the way it is conducted in our country. They, they do not think that this is something that they should take seriously. And the, the fact is, there are so many factors that influence elections in our country. The surveys must bear all of that in mind all right. before I have anything close to close to uh, the truth. Right. At least we can. A survey should help us gauge voter behavior Absolutely. and uh, uh, voter preferences. If if we cannot achieve that through a survey, then the survey has failed. But all right. Basically. There, there, there is every reason for some of these parties to oppose the ANAP uh, Noe, Noe pool because, mm. in my view, Atiku deserves more than 1% from the whole of the Southeast. Absolutely. It's too miserly and uh, it looks re really ridiculous mm. that a party that has never failed to win election in an area who mm. pass up so poorly for the point that to get only one percent of the votes in uh, okay because in such a religion yeah